What's going on guys, Tom here, and in today's Godot Quick Tips video, I'm going to be showing you how to do some really cool 2D lighting. So let's get started. Okay, so what we've got here is a simple 2D background sprite and a player, which is basically just a square that's going to follow the cursor around. So if I just quickly run this and show you, we've got this square here and it follows wherever the cursor is on the screen. And that's all we've got at the moment. We're going to implement some really cool looking 2D light. So we're going to close this. And what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the player. We're going to go into the player scene. And we're going to right click the player and add a child node. Now here you want a light 2D. You'll see here that it says node configuration warning, a texture with the shape of the light must be supplied to the texture property. Now if I come down to my assets folder here, you'll see that I've got a couple of images here for the light. And we're just going to drag this one onto the texture property over here. You'll see that basically what it is, is a black square with a white to black gradient, uh, radial gradient on there. We're going to drag that over to the empty texture here. We're going to leave it where it is there. It's centered on the player itself. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the texture scale here just to 10 so that it covers quite a large area. Now we're going to leave everything else as default except for shadow. So we're going to come here, press shadow and click enabled. All right, so we're going to save that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come over to our main scene again. You'll see now that we've got this light here. And if I click play, you'll see that this light sort of follows the player around. You'll sort of um, see, the, see the edges there. So let's close that again. And now what we're going to do is we're ready to add a tile set. So we're going to add a child node to the world. We're going to call it a tile map. And we're going to come into the tile set over here on the right hand side. Click where it says empty. Click new tile set and just click into that. Now you'll see this window is opened at the bottom here. Now this is our tile set editor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click the little plus symbol here on the left hand side. Go to my assets folder and I've just got a simple square sprite here. I'm going to choose that one. I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to say new single tile. Now let's just press these two arrows here to expand it so we can see a bit better what's going on. And what we're going to do is we're going to enable snapping and we're going to click at the top left. In fact, let's zoom this in a little bit. We're going to click at the top left. Oops, there we go. And that's going to choose this one square for us. What we're also going to do is we're going to choose collision. And we've got this square symbol here. We're just going to drag until you can see the four corners appear and it sort of goes a pale blue. And we're also going to choose occlusion. Now this is the important one. This is what's going to define the area that blocks light in our 2D scene. So again, we're just going to choose this square symbol, which says create a new rectangle, click the top left and drag all the way down to the bottom right. And again, this blue square should appear here. And that's it. We're going to save that. We're going to click these two arrows again to close that. And now on our tile map here, if we click on it, the next thing we're going to do is come over and press cell. And we're just going to change that to 32 by 32, just because that's what size I've drawn the, um, the tiles. And we're just going to start painting here and you'll see already we're getting this amazing looking lighting effect get applied to our scene. So let's just draw some random shapes here. Let's do a little cross. A couple of extra bits over here. There we go. So now if we press play, you'll see that the lighting is affected by where our player is because that's where the point of the 2D light is. And it's that simple. We've got some very basic 2D lighting applied to our player and it's reacting uh, based on the environment, based on the occlusion of a 2D tile set. And we can move the player around and it reacts accordingly. So one last thing I want to show you there is if we come back to our player and press edit scene, come back to our 2D light, you'll see that I've got a light, which is the simple gradient. And I've also got a light banded, which I've created, which is just solid colors uh, gradually fading out to black here. Now if I drag this on, you'll just see what kind of different effects you can create with the light here. So you will not be able to see it actually very well there. If I just change the texture scale to something more reasonable like two, and then press play, you'll see that we can start having some really cool lighting effects based on what sort of texture you give the light. And that's it. That's all I wanted to show you for this video. If you like this video, please click that subscribe button and hit the little notification bell to get notified when I release new content on the channel. Head on over to our Discord channel where you can chat to other people that are getting started with game development. 
And if you really like this video and you want to support the channel, please head on over to the Patreon. You can get all the resources you need to follow along with today's tutorial. Links are all in the description below. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.